the first day of school, it's come, it's gone, but the stress of being back in class and that busy day-to-day -day routine, that is still very much front and center in our daily lives. So today we're sharing tips and tricks sure to give your kids an A-plus start to the school year and to help mom get a boost there as well. Maria Eckersley loves helping moms make home life a bit smoother, and today she's sharing her best-kept secrets to help parents and kids ease on into the back-to-school routine. So good to have you, so good to Thank see you. Thank you, good to be here. So every mom might have a different answer to this question, but for you, why do you think that back-to-school transition is so challenging? I think just because they're all going different directions. I mean, I've got kids in different schools and different districts and different times. It's chaotic, so you got to manage it. All right, we're going to hit some common problems today, and you've got some fabulous on-the-ground tactile solutions. Let's start with taming the morning madness. Oftentimes, we're behind before we even begin when it yes. comes to those routines. Right. So where can we do better? Well, your first thing is to get the kids out of bed, right? That's a struggle for me and a struggle for That's everybody. That's like the battle. Right? So I have three teenagers, and they share rooms with littler kids, so it's kind of a problem sometimes. So one of the things I have loved is having an alarm clock that has a vibrating option. Have you seen these before? No, I haven't. Okay, this is really, really cool. So this is on Amazon. I think it was about 30 bucks. It's called the Sonic Boom, which means it, it can go crazy loud. <laughs> okay. But the setting I like is just the vibration. So this is the piece that you stick under the mattress and above like the base of it. And so then when the alarm goes off, it shakes the whole bed. Your bed moves. Oh, I mean, it's loud. I mean, it's not loud, but it shakes the whole mattress. So the, the kid who's in the bed wakes up, but no one else does. Oh my goodness. Genius. It's awesome. I guarantee, I don't know, but I have to guess a mom of a teenage teenager right? probably a teenage made son. this up. Yes, yeah, exactly. exactly. All right, you get that on Amazon? Yep, on Amazon. Very cool. We'll stick with the teenage zone for a minute. What about yep. teenage girls? I'm okay. just saying. Yeah. You have to share the bathroom space, share the mirror space, share the sink. Right. I grew up with six sisters, so this was oh, a big issue with me. You and get I it. have some teenage girls. So Three sisters here. I'm right your, there with you. Your sinks are covered with bottles and makeup and everything else. So my solution is to get them out of the bathroom as fast as possible. So okay. to do that, I make a little vanity in each of the teenage girls' rooms. So I will take just a simple shelf and shelf brackets, put a mirror above it, and then an adjustable stool, and that's their space to primp. So, so nothing too fancy. No, I mean, it's maybe 30, 50 bucks if you count the mirror maybe, but it's cheap and it makes a huge difference. They don't fight in the bathroom. No one whines and says, Mom, she's been in there forever. Oh, I was going to say, just the drama reduction is yeah. worth whatever you have to pay to get those vanities exactly. in those rooms. What a great idea. Yeah, it's super cheap. It's great. Love it. All right, lunches. Packing okay. lunches. Help us out there. Lunches. So my kids have to pack their own lunches, but I, they all are a little bit picky and you know how that goes. So yeah. I like to make all the sandwiches at the beginning of the week and then they pack them themselves. So one oh. of the things I love to do is I like to make sandwiches and you know, you like the little cookie cutter so that you can shape them and then you can decorate it or honestly a lot of times it's just an initial so I have Sam who only likes raspberry jam and I have Will who only will eat honey <laughs> so if I put their initial on it, it when it's in the freezer they can pull the one that's right for them okay, so we've that's got a great one two hacks at work here making yeah. ahead and freezing oh yeah and then the fun of just decorating them to personalize those sure just for fun or like sandwiches. you know sometimes you can take these these are just available at Walmart in the food aisle they're just little food decorating pens you can write their spelling words on their banana I mean you can do all kinds of things just Genius. to perk it up a little bit and I understand it's not just sandwiches that you're freezing yes okay so one of the problems I have at our house is we have six kids and they all want to eat all the packable food after school right you know they see the Cheetos and they just can't resist right so I have found that if I just take all the lunch supplies and I stick them all in the freezer. You're not freezing Cheetos. Oh yeah. You, you are? Freeze everything. You can freeze fruit snacks. These are just a few of the things I, I pulled from Hold our on. freezer. What do Cheetos <laughs> taste like unthought? I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> and neither do they. They won't eat them. But honestly, any bread product, you know, you can stick a whole loaf of bread in the freezer. Yeah, so you do know that. and all that okay. stuff, they freeze because they have that air insulation. Yogurt. Honestly, freezer's great. Yogurt, chocolate, anything like that. So it's not tempting for the big kids to come and, you know, <laughs> steal from because it's frozen, but then it thaws by the time they have lunch and it keeps everything cold in the lunch box. Ain't nobody want frozen Cheetos, but by <laughs> the time they come to lunch, they will. Absolutely. Exactly. Okay. All They're right. Great. What's next? Okay. So next, uh, one of the biggest problems of every mom is the amount of paper that comes home from school. Yes. It's ridiculous. The mountain of paper. So I have some systems at home to help kind of minimize that a little bit. I don't like to hold on to any papers. So when they come home from school, I'll use my phone and I'll take a picture of anything that I feel like I need to remember later. Uh -huh. And then when I have some spare time, maybe if I'm in the pickup line at school or at the bus stop, I'll flip through those pictures and I will then add stuff to my calendar. So I'll just have an album for this school and this school. And That's genius. Oh, I'm telling you, it's a lifesaver. Oh, love so that. just make an album for each kid in your photos app and then as you save things, just store them there. And I have to imagine when you first start a system like that, it might feel a little bit you know, clunky. a little bit of work, a little sure. bit clunky, a little extra effort, but when you get in the habit, I imagine it becomes pretty seamless. Right, it's great. Okay, what about backpacks? They take up a lot of space. Yeah, they do. And so the lunchbox itself tends to take up almost all the space. So one simple hack that I do at our house is we put a little carabiner 
on every lunchbox. So that if you can see, there's like it just hooks to the top. That way, when they put it on their back, it just yes. flips back behind. Yes, Super I easy. love it. All right, jumping back to the after school routine, yeah. it's hard to help kids keep track of everything they have to do from homework to practicing the piano. You have a tool that helps with that? Oh, yeah, this is a great gadget. So, this again, Amazon, I think it was $18, $17. Okay. It's just a simple cube timer. So, my little kids, the ones who have to track reading minutes and simple piano, they have a hard time using apps and normal timers. This one, all you do is you pick it up and you flip it. So, if I wanted a 10 minute, I flip it and the 10 minute timer started. Oh my and goodness. it will go off. There's a little clock you can see. It's a lifesaver. This is awesome and it, it works for everybody. And for those it. smaller attention spans yeah, too, like yeah. you pointed out. So great. So piano man is just set it on the 20 and then when it beeps, they're done. What about the papers you can't get rid of? Okay, yeah, so these for example, this is what I love to use. This is just like a business flyer. What you might see at like a hotel concierge desk. Yeah. Um, these are a dollar or two at Walmart or Office Max. And I like to stick all of their things they need to hang on to, like the multiplication tables and the you know stuff they need to reference during homework. It also makes a nice little Little privacy shield so when they're doing their homework if there's a bunch of kids doing their homework at the table they can kind of keep their own space they can look up and reference keeps it at eye level they have their own zone yeah and it's good for teenagers too my daughter uses this when she has to type a paper she'll stick her notes in here and then can type a little easier it's just you just want to make it a little simpler as you sure. go and an engagement tool when it's right in front yeah. of them like so exactly. I see stickers do we have a chore chart of sorts at play yes yeah, so like the chore chart I shared with you guys a few months ago this is just an addition to that chore chart so I think it's hard to keep track of all the little things I, I don't want to make a chart for their piano minutes I don't want to make a chart for their reading minutes so instead I just have a sticker sheet for each of my elementary age kids okay and then as they do good things let's say they get an A on a paper then I will take a sticker off and I'll stick it on that paper or if they did awesome in their job that day I might take a sticker off and put it on their shirt so a simple reward system yeah and then when the sticker sheet's gone they get the reward instead of like a chart that I have to track and you know okay stop post That's on the genius. fridge it's almost reverse smart? yes it's a reverse chart so it's great because they can see oh look I've got all these gaps these are the good things I did and this is how many I have left before I get my reward yes and this cost you 99 cents for a little sheet of stickers how does your brain think so much it's better so than good. mine how does this happen <laughs> so many awesome solutions okay yeah well that will do it right do it. I got a few to catch up to I got a few to go where can we find more of your ideas and I hacks have tons and tons of hacks on my Instagram account that's mostly mom hacks and that's mech mom life is my Instagram handle and then mechmom.com is where you'll find all the free printables listen if you're not following this gal get on it <laughs> mech mom is blowing up online seriously I'm seeing you tagged everywhere it's this is a great, great time of year for solutions like this so thank you. thank you so much. We appreciate it. All right.